Kesin. Hi, we're Jess and Joe, and we spent the last month traveling around Turkey. In this video, we are exploring the best things to do in Istanbul, which is our last leg of our Turkey travels. Today, we are going to visit some of Istanbul's top attractions, including but not limited to the Egyptian market, which is the Spice Bazaar, the Grand Bazaar, the Blue Mosque, and the Hajj Sophia. I'm excited. Spices, but a lot of other goods like there's clothes, there's jewelry, there's candy. It's got everything. And Turkish delights. And Turkish delights, of course. Which you're probably gonna need a lot of once you have one. <laughs> yeah, they kind of force them upon you too, but I'm okay with that. I read that it's impolite not to accept an offer. I don't want to be impolite. Especially with Turkish delight. <laughs> that was the Spice Market. It was so crowded. It was kind of, I mean, it was pretty photogenic and there was a lot of spices and candies and cool things, but there was so many people. And it was kind of the same thing. There's speed walking through it too. And every time we walk, I mean, we're kind of like targets with like this camera, and then Joe has his camera. But people will be like, "Hello, how are you? Coming to my store?" Yeah. So we got out of there. A lot of the same thing. Now we are on our way to the Grand Bazaar, which I think I'm most excited about. My expectations are really high, so we'll see. Grand Bazaar, which is the largest covered market in the world. And just like the spice market, it's very, very busy. Lots and lots of people. So we're gonna go look for some Turkish coffee. Maybe, and maybe a kebab. We haven't got enough of those. shopping in this place can be quite difficult because there's such an abundance of everything that's kind of the same. It's overwhelming. Like, like anxiety. <laughs> Just left the Grand Bazaar. It was a bit overwhelming. There's only so many times you can look at the same thing over and over. And everyone just wants you to go in their shop and I yeah. don't know. I just really wanted coffee. I was like envisioning this like sweet old man making this like authentic Turkish coffee in the sand and flames and colors. I didn't find that. Just a bunch of shops. But it's really cool. Definitely worth a walk through and check it out. And if you need something, you're probably going to find it there. <laughs> This 
So this is the Blue Moss. There's quite a lot of people in here. It is under construction. So it's kind of lackluster, but you can see how cool it would be if none of this other stuff was here. I am dressed appropriately. Crazy. Alright, oh, that was the blue moth. It's just like everything we have been doing today in Istanbul, like the main attractions. It is so crowded. It's pretty wild how many people there are. And the line looked really long, but they opened certain hours for like an hour before prayer and the half hour after prayer. The line looked really long. I think it was just about to open up and then went up and it went really quick. It was free of course because it's a mosque but so right behind me is the Hagia Sophia which is obviously one of the main attractions here in Istanbul. Uh, built in the 6th century and at the time it was the largest mosque of its like in the world until like a millennial later and then something was built that was bigger than that and then it was converted into a museum and then as of 2020 it was converted back into a mosque which is pretty cool in the world. It was built in 532, completed five years later in 537, and it's been constructed and reconstructed three separate times. It's actually very beautiful inside. It's crowded as always. So we are here during, in between prayer time. This is the only the men's side, I guess. Explain. So when I was over on the men's side, men, women aren't allowed in there in that area. I stopped videoing, started doing prayer, so no one could take any more photos or video in that area. But it was extremely beautiful. But definitely something to see. The line moves fast. Look at the times that you can come here, though, because they still allow people in, but they won't allow you to take photos in a certain area. getting borderline hangry and we must find food. The air is crisp, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> 